Musical instruments and band uniforms. That's what was stolen from a trailer sitting on church property. NBC4 Sean Lanier has been talking with the executive director of the Columbus Saints, who says they've stored that trailer in the same place for years, Sean. Yeah, that's right. The executive director of the Columbus Saints says right now he feels numb. He says if this trailer isn't found or returned, the program may be in jeopardy for summer programs. Yesterday we were meeting, you know, with the, with the city to discuss starting a new drum program, you know, at a local community center. And now I'm like, I got to pull drums from somewhere to even have our, our main program, you know, survive. Police and the executive director of the Columbus Saints are looking for the person who stole a trailer. It sat in this church parking lot, a place they've always parked this trailer. Now everything that was inside is gone. You're talking about tens of thousands of dollars of equipment, um, drums, uniforms, bugles, sound equipment. LaRon Carlton says 95% of the program's equipment was in that trailer. It's a devastating blow to what they do. It's shocking. It's, it's heartbreaking. The Columbus Saints were founded in 2003. It is an Ohio nonprofit corporation dedicated to providing affordable, quality performing arts educational opportunities for young people. It promotes the social and artistic development and focuses on leadership in education. Now the sound of music and the joy the Columbus Saints brings is temporarily muted. And so is their impact. We were in discussions with Parks and Recs uh, to perform at a uh, vigil on April 10th uh, with the city uh, for victims of uh, uh, violence. Uh, that was going to be our next uh, community-based thing. But with no instruments, Carlton says it may not be possible. He just hopes whoever took the trailer returns it. And Carlton also told me that they were also scheduled to perform at the St. Patrick's Day Parade in, in Dublin this weekend. He hopes he can borrow a few instruments and get them through this. He says he's heard from a few participants and members of this program who are already trying to help as well. Look for you, Sean Lanier, NBC4. Oh, that's a shame. Thanks, Sean.